Thrive Architect gives you a lot of options and makes it very easy to work with images on your web pages. I'll show you how to add an image and different ways you can customize them once you have them on your site. So first things first, let's add an image. You go right here to the Add Element button and you click on that and you grab the image and you just drop it wherever you want it. So let's say we wanted one below this subhead. Uh, you can go back in and at that point just add whatever image you want to start working with. with let's say we want it to be this one right here. Now you've got your image on the page. Once you have it there, you can easily adjust the size of it. Uh, also right here at layout position, you can decide where you want it. Do you want it to be on the line left, center, or right? And let's say we just wanted that one in the center. We'll come back to layout position in just a second. But uh, back in these main options, we're adjusting the size earlier. You also have some style options you can use. Uh, no style, you can add a dark frame, a lighter color, a white frame. Uh, this lifted style, which adds a really subtle uh, drop shadow to it. Uh, another one with a different type of shadow, more along the, the bottom. The uh, polaroid, one with a thick white frame, rounded curl, rounded corners, and circle. And there's one with a caption overlay on it also. Uh, let's say you just want to keep this one just the way it is. Next, you can go into Image Effects. You can add grayscale to it, make it just a little bit gray, a whole lot gray all the way. Next, you have Opacity, which you can fade it out, fade it in. And sometimes if you're layering images over things, that looks really, uh, looks really slick. It's a good, a good way of reason to use that. And Blur also. And this, let's say I could, if it was a secret, you know, secret book or some secret report, you could click on that and you could do the blur where they really couldn't, or blur out a little bit where they couldn't see what it was and add a little bit of, of mystery to it. And then you've also got the overlay color option right here, which you can add a color on top of your, a color on top of the image. Next, in layout and position, I already showed you how you can have a center or left, center or right. You can also adjust um, where it is by using this, the margins and paddings. You can pull it up, pull it down. You can put it back on 20 where it was. You can move it from side to side. And there's an advanced feature in here, which I like using. I generally use this with icons in, in between different sections, but you can use it for the um, uh, with images also. Um, right here at the vertical, you can pull this up to where it like sits on top of two different sections. Uh, so it looks a little messy here right now, but if this was if this was clean and you had uh, like so your picture right here and you had some you know, about me stuff up here and some more you know more stuff about your bio down here it'd be kind of a cool way to have that uh, kind of cool way to have that laid out let's go back and put that down at zero uh, you've also got can add borders and corners so this one right here you want to add borders you can just drag it up in a nice thick border there you can give it rounded corners uh, that easy uh, you can also you also can make it a, a sticky uh, image which will just stay right where it is and st can have it you know, stay sticky until the end of the page, end of this container it's on, or before it reaches another element. Some people are scrolling, that will stay, that will stay right there. Uh, you can also add different animations and actions to it. Uh, for instance, right here we'll look at the animations first. You can have it slide in from the bottom, from the right, from the left. You can have it zoom in and out. You can also have it grow and shrink. And the, the, the grow and shrink are definitely more subtle ones. I've tended to use those uh, use those more. Um, you also can fade in. And then you also have rotate and roll in ones. 
And let's say, let's say I put that one in and I go and I see it and go, oh, that's a little too obnoxious for this. I don't like it. You can just go right back here and you can either edit it and change out what it is, or you can just click the little trash bin right there and remove it. You don't have it anymore. Then you can also hyperlink it to it. So if you want to have this actually linked to another page on your website or a, um, I mean, like a sales page or an opt-in form, you can do all that from, from right here. Uh, so you can also add shadows, and you can see it right, right there at the bottom. Uh, it's a subtle one now, but you can make it more dramatic. You can spin it out there, but then you can blur it out some. You can spread it out more. Uh, all those options right from there. It's really easy to, to do. And uh, that's about it for working with images within Thrive Architect. They've made it very intuitive. Uh, easy easy to do and you've just got near limitless options you can do just about whatever you want to with the images